was getting used in the like nodding back at me like, hey, why aren't you scratching me? Like it's the morning, come on. I did a whole lot of rough life. Slim monster. Got the Jeep running to get some heat going in here. The sun's just barely coming up over the hill. The tub is like right there. So in a minute, I'm gonna go see if the flow's diverted and how hot it is and then get my soak on. Oh. I could hear some people in the tub late last night and uh, this morning there was like a partial flow going into the tub and really there shouldn't be any flow going into it it seems like. Somebody, an older guy who's been coming out here for years was telling me that there's supposed to be a sign saying divert the flow when not in use but because this whole tub the water's so hot, it heats up within minutes. It's so hot. Oh, it's like 7.30 a.m. Oh, yes. Sun's coming up. All right, it's time to chill. So much desert, just so much nothing. Oh, this is the life. This is pretty cool. It can be a it can be a rare occurrence to get these tubs all to yourself. I did when I first got here yesterday, and then also this morning. So yeah, pretty fortunate. Well, I do absolutely, like, absolutely love the Jeep. I will never get rid of it. I will never trade fully having, like, a camper van for the Jeep. But I tell you what, if you have one, like, a, a camper or a van with you with tons of solar and battery power and induction cooktop, yeah, I'll take it. Look at that. It's delicious. It's corned beef hash. I swear it tastes better than it looks right now not gonna lie there's definitely something to this van life stuff you can see I have the Jeep set up over there but one thing about the Jeep is I just refilled my propane yesterday so I'm reliant on that to cook but here in the van we have a ton of solar on the roof and even with the induction running it's still at like 99.9 .9. so you know Let's use the uh, unlimited resource while I have it. And then, bam, not bad views. So out in the desert in the middle of nowhere, about to make some breakfast in a van. Oh, I just spent like an hour in the tub over there, like right there. Oh, it was amazing. Really like this van life stuff. There's definitely something to it. You guys have been following the channel for any amount of time, like, or follow me on Instagram, then you know I'm like a Jeep guy, but I have been working on a van build and it's kind of come to fruition. So here it is. And as I envisioned, like less than a year ago when we were first buying the van, I mean, you know, just like manifested all this kind of crazy. I saw this. And now it's here. All right, let's make some breakfast. Oh, here it comes. That's so bad looking. I'm well aware. What's the best buy date? This of last forever, right? August 2024. Oh yeah, I'm so good. Eh. Yeah, I know it looks like dog food, by the way. I know. But it's delicious dog food. Bam. Trash, hot water heater, bunch of junk. My spatula. Love it. You'll notice none of the doors have knobs just because it is such like a narrow space, you know, that it's not that much. Oh, that's right. I forgot this is, this is this thing, but it's not that much of an effort to just pull on them with these, uh, Blum, Man, look at that. Psh, hold on, wait, one, more, one more time, one more time. Yeah. 
Oh, this is gonna make a freaking mess. I'm telling you, this is gonna look, no, it's gonna taste so much better than it looks right now. Right now. Cool. Guy up on the hills running a generator, that's fine. Got the Jeep all set up. It's actually a pretty cool site though. Wiring. Sun's bright. Crazy. All right, let's get back to breakfast. I have a couch to sit on. I'll leave my food to cook. Van life feels ridiculous. Like, uh, this is so easy. Like, not that the Jeep is hard, but everything, I don't know, maybe it's like the way I made this van, because everything's just very simple. Like, there's no setup, no breakdown. Like, the only thing you have to do is put this cooktop away and then wash your dishes. Like, that's it. Getting water is super easy. Filling the water is super easy. So easy. Everything's simple. Still not finished, I still need to finish this piece. Um, I need to put a trim piece over here. Oh, steam. Just a little bit of paint here and there, but yeah. It's mostly done, though. Let's get this focus. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Intact yoke. Okay. Love culture. Oh. It's not easy when you're aiming through a camera, okay? I wasn't really sure what I was gonna do there for a minute. I thought I was gonna eat on a plate, but I decided to make myself a burrito last minute, which led to me almost burning my eggs. But I'm using a low carb tortilla, some corned beef hash, and some yolky eggs. Oh, look at that, it's gonna be so good. Might also put some sour cream in there, I don't know. Oh, run. Oops. Okay, I had to come outside to eat this because I knew it was gonna be a mess. Look at that, that's so good though. I added some more corned beef hash. Mmm. Salt, forgot salt, whatever. Oh, good morning. Oh, hey. See, my mom off in the distance walking Scotty. Oh, there's Scotty, the little monster. So many times we've been like, why do you come out there? Why do you like go out of the middle of nowhere and just like, Sit in hot tubs all the time, just like hang out by yourself with strangers and stuff. And I'm like, I don't know, man. Oh my god, that was good. All right, I'm gonna finish my coffee. Maybe I'll take another dip. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just gonna do whatever I want. I'm already like super full from the one burrito. <sighs> I don't know. Scotty, what are you doing? I couldn't find you. <laughs> Have you found your spot? You're gonna be such a dusty mess later. What are you looking at? Uh, is that the source over there? He's keeping an eye out. He's keeping guard. Scotty's a guard, Westy. Keep up the work, good work, boy. Right. We relocated a little bit higher. My solar going. I'm not gonna be moving today, so I'm 100% reliant on solar to charge my battery back up. The cool thing is, these are all like markers and extra stuff that people use for the tubs. I'm like right here. Uh, the people that were here earlier, they diverted the source, so it's actually probably much cooler now. I'm like right there. What are you doing? You gonna come check out the tub? Such a funny little dog.
Oh man. I think some of this video I might like jump around a little bit, but some of this, some of it like this, I'm gonna leave kind of more long form. Oh yeah, that's not bad at all. It's only like one oh, what, what does it say? 102, 104, not even 104. Psh, that's nothing. Are you gonna jump in that water again, Scotty? No, you know how hot it is now, don't you? you crazy little dog. It's nice I, uh, yeah, if you've, if you've watched any of my previous content, you know that I'm like 99% of the time solo, but it's kind of interesting. Definitely, definitely love having Scotty with me. He's my base friend. Oh, sorry. That's interesting. I've had more than one person ask me like, oh, dude, why do you have a pool skimmer in the back of your Jeep? And I'm like, yeah, if you know, you know. If you've been to Shepherd Hot Spring outside Mammoth and like, the last year and you used my blue pool skimmer that I left there. Yeah, you're welcome. I'm going to spend like an hour or so just kind of cleaning the tub up a little bit. I'm probably going to scrub it out a little bit because I also carry a brush just for scrubbing out tubs. Uh, because I try to be a steward of the tubs. And leave them nicer than I found them. So I might scrub this one out. It's actually really clean right now, but I might scrub out the corners just a little bit. Let's see. Oh, holy jeebus. I didn't think it was that hot and I just jumped in real quick. I just stepped in. It was so hot. You have to really be careful with some of these pools. They can be so much hotter than you think. Like all the pools that I normally go in are usually in the maybe high 90s. And this one is like 120 if you just let it run plus. So look before you leap. Oh yeah. Look at all that. Can't really see it, but... All that. And if anyone was wondering how I'm spending my afternoon, it was about one o'clock right now. Oh yeah. Just working on the tan, the best way I know how. There were a few other people in here for a little bit and they, they all just got out so I was able to do some recording. Pretty nice, so gorgeous. I think it's done. Ooh, that looks good. Another perk to van life. And having a microwave and lots of power. Popcorn. So like you were talking to the guy from down there? Yeah, they're from they're from Sacramento. This guy. It's a husband and wife. Mm -hmm. I guess they're coming back from a funeral in Colorado. So they're just road tripping. But I think he said he's gonna spend like 20 something nights in the truck camper this month because on this road trip that they're on and i guess he had a bunch of like medical issues and surgeries so he's just now getting back on the road what are you doing scotty i'm sure he's actually looking at the camera well once again Chilling in the back of the Jeep. Got the privacy curtains up. Thank you, Stan, for that. Bam. I'm trying to keep any bugs out of the top, so I'm just chilling back here with the bug net. And yeah, tubs right there. Yeah, there are a few people camped around and I talked to everybody. Everybody was really cool. Super glad I made it out here. I will not tell you. I was reading and it said, don't be surprised if they come right up because this is the 